Welcome back, everybody. It's Accordance Seth. Today, I want to talk about part two of my most anticipated horror films for the rest of 2022 and a few for 2023, because there's actually a few I missed for 2022 that we honestly need to talk about. So let's get into it. First up, we got Barbarian. First of all, this cast is amazing. You got Bill Skarsgård, Georgina Campbell, and Justin Long, who's always fantastic. But it's basically about um, Georgina Campbell's character, Tess, going to this like Airbnb rental, and somebody's already staying there. And from there, it just goes south. And I've heard nothing but great things about this, so I'm excited. Sanderson sisters are back, people. I'm excited. We get in Hocus Pocus 2 coming straight to Disney Plus September 30th. If you haven't seen the first one, please go do so. It's on Disney Plus, and it is an absolute fantastic film. I said, burr, it's cold in here. There must be some Toros in the atmosphere. If y'all never seen Bring It On, they're actually doing a spinoff of this called Tear or Die, and it's going to be a horror movie now instead, and it's going straight to sci-fi, and I honestly cannot wait for this. Starting off with my 2023 films I'm excited for, we got Renfield, which is basically, uh, it's going to be like a comedy horror film, and Dracula is being played by Nicolas Cage, as you can see in this photo, which honestly, I'm, I'm already hyped for. And then we got freaking Ben Schwartz in it, Aquafina, and Nicholas Holt is playing the, the title character, Renfield. Next up, we got Scream 6, which is going to be the sequel to the reboot. I absolutely love the reboot, and we're finally leaving Westboro, so I think this could be really cool because we're exploring a whole new territory. Kirby's coming back in Pantier. I am bummed, though, that Nev Campbell's not coming back. David Gordon Green, the man responsible for the new Halloween franchise, who's absolutely been crushing it, is doing an Exorcist reboot, and it's starting off after the events of this first film, and you already know it's going to be good. We got Knock at the Cabin in the Woods, which is based on the book called Cabin at the End of the World by Paul Tremblay, which is fantastic. The twists in that book are unreal. But we got Dave Bautista starring this one and M. Night Shyamalan's doing the film, so you know it's going to be solid. Next up, we got the Evil Dead reboot, which I've always loved the Evil Dead franchise, but this one's actually taking place in New York City in a sky rise, so I think this could be pretty cool. And finally, last but not least, we got The Last Voyage of Demeter, which is basically taken from Bram Stoker's Dracula novel, and it's basically about the ship coming from Carpathia to London carrying Dracula and what happened to that crew, because it was a ghost ship when it landed at port. So I think this could be really cool. 